The Emergency Alert System, known as EAS, is the national warning system of the United States. Put in place in 1997, it replaced the emergency broadcast system. In addition to alerting the public of local emergencies such as tornadoes and floods, the EAS is designed to enable the President of the United States to speak to the nation in a time of crisis. The EAS is jointly coordinated by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Federal Communications Commission, and the National Weather Service. Using the same specific area message encoding technology as the National Weather Service weather alerts, the EAS works like a giant automatic radio phone tree between broadcasters. Activated by local, state, or federal emergency managers, the EAS is relayed automatically by each broadcaster to quickly pass on emergency messages to the entire listening and viewing audience in the alerting area, even if stations are unmanned. The modem tones heard at the start and end of EAS messages are computer data broadcast between EAS equipment to activate the automatic relay of the alert and produce the text crawl seen on TV. EAS equipment at each station has filters that only forward messages appropriate for the station's coverage area and types of alerts as selected in the local and state EAS plans. The spoken audio portion of the message is used to broadcast specific information about the emergency to inform the public on how best to respond. Residents are urged to check emergency supplies and State emergency communication committees coordinate statewide EAS plans, which are tested monthly. Because broadcasters in large Alaskan cities rebroadcast into many remote communities, the EAS in Alaska is activated statewide for widespread events like tsunami warnings or amber alerts. It is generally agreed that getting a message out to everyone impacted during these rare events is worth the minor inconvenience to those who may not be in direct danger. It is important to listen to the message to hear if it affects you. Waves are expected to have the greatest impact on the outer coast of Alaska with smaller... In Juneau, the Local Emergency Communications Committee of Broadcasters and Emergency Officials has developed a plan for activating the system in the event of a local incident. Participants in the local plan include the City and Borough of Juneau, the National Weather Service, AELNP, GCI Cable, and all local radio and TV stations. KINY AM and KTOO FM serve as the primary EAS stations in Juneau. The Juneau EAS plan covers many major community affecting events like a large avalanche, dam failure, glacier flash flooding, dangerous high winds, or other major civil emergencies. The National Weather Service, the Juneau City Manager, the City Emergency Programs Manager, the Police and Fire Chiefs, and AELNP's Emergency Coordinator all have the authority to activate the Juneau EAS. The EAS is continually being developed and improved. New technologies like the related wireless emergency alerts and the internet are beginning to play a larger part in delivering clearer and more informative alerts to devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets. Improvements are being made to minimize disruptions while better targeting alerts and information to those who need it.